bit earlier. There is commentary of that match, the qualifier, on Radio 5. Now, two former England cricket captains have received knighthoods in today's honours list. Geoffrey Boycott becomes Sir Geoffrey. Uh, more on that in just a moment. But there was also a knighthood for Andrew Strauss. He led the side to two Ashes series victories and uh, took England to the top of the World Test Rankings. He was also instrumental in this summer's World Cup triumph in his former role as the Director of Cricket with the national side. He resigned from that position to spend time with his wife, Ruth, who died from lung cancer last year. He has set up a charitable foundation in her name. Well, Boycott, uh, Geoffrey Boycott, uh, soon to be Sir Geoffrey Boycott, uh, will be with the Test Match special team at the Oval on Thursday. He also received his knighthood today for his services to cricket. But many have questioned whether he is deserving of such an award. In 1998, he was fined and given a three-month suspended prison sentence in a French court for assaulting a former girlfriend. He was asked about that on Radio Force Today programme this morning. I have to live with it, and I do, because... I'm clear in my mind, and I think most people in England are, that it's not true. Although the Chief Executive of Women's Aid has said celebrating a man... I don't care a toss about her, love. It's 25 <laughs> years ago, so you can take your political nature and do whatever you want with it. You want to talk to me about my knighthood, it's very nice of you to have me, but I couldn't give a toss. Well, a few hours uh, after giving that interview, the co-chief executive of Women's Aid, the charity to help victims of domestic abuse, uh, spoke to the BBC's Victoria Derbyshire programme. He's expressed no remorse. He doesn't admit his crime. He has been he convicted. Said it, he said he didn't do it. Yeah, he has been convicted. And I question whether any other violent crime or um, anyone convicted of any other violent crime would have received an honour in this way. Uh, it sends completely the wrong message to survivors. Well, following his interview on the Today programme, Boycott told BBC Look North's Harry Gration that he'd been set up. I've just been awarded a knighthood. It should have been one of the nicest days of my life, and that's all I'm thinking of. I thought that uh, our former Prime Minister had given me this honour, and it's on behalf of the British people. Uh, so I thought I had a duty to be available to quite a few outlets and answer questions about it, about my cricket. That's what I was giving it for. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be set up and zambagged. How do you feel now, at this moment, after, you know, three or four hours of media scrutiny? Sad. Always disappointed. Uh, because the media have an agenda, don't they? Some of them, not all, you can't blame them all, but some have an agenda. This was an agenda to talk about domestic violence, an opportunity to make publicity. Uh, I didn't see that coming. thought it was just a nice day. Well, we'll stay with uh, cricket. Uh, the